Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to add additional M.2 SSD on your Dell XPX 8950. So let me show you the model here. If you take a look at the back of your desktop, you should be able to identify the model which is XPX 8950. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, you need to have a Phillips screwdriver. This is just a regular PH1. What I'm trying to do is to unscrew this little latch here. So the latch here is the one that holding down the side panel. So you need to unscrew it. The screw does not come off. It just stay loose on the side. And once you have the screw unscrew, pull the latch away from the desktop. All right, so pull it to my left, but depending on how you look at it, pulling it and then slide up that side panel. So slide it upwards, and how you re that's how you remove the side panel. Once you have removed the side panel, you get to see the entire motherboard, the exhaust fan, the CPU, the RAM. I did make a separate video for the RAM. If you're interested to upgrade additional RAM, go, go ahead and check out that video. Um, I think I list the title Dell XPX 8950 Upgrade DDR5 RAM. I think that's the title. So go ahead and check it out. I'll link them down description below as well um, so you can see how to upgrade additional RAM. Now you have four RAM slot um, which first and the second is taken. You can do the third and the fourth. Uh, there are four RAM slots so you can add additional RAM. All right, here I want to talk about the M.2 SSD drive. As you can see, this is the M.2. Now this is uh, just a sample for you. Um, this is the original M.2 drive. This has all your windows, your data, everything is stored in there. Now, if you notice there's additional RAM, uh, sorry, additional M.2 SSD here. So what you mean, uh, what it means is that you can add additional, um, storage capacity on this part okay so this is what I'm going to do now get myself a Phillips screwdriver go ahead and remove that screw so this tiny little screw here so this screw here is not for you to mount the M.2 this is pretty much for you to sit on top the screw okay do not get confused by removing the screw and start screwing it in so I just wanted to point it out to you that screw right there are not supposed to be removed okay now what you have to do is you need to slide the m2 ssd into the slot slide it in at 45 degree angle close it down that's when you have to find that missing screw and screw it in usually they do come with it but i do not see it here um, i do not see that the dell comes with the tiny little screw so you technically need to find a real small screw like this a tiny little screw like this okay if you're not sure where to buy them what i'll do i'll link them down in the description below or you can go directly to either amazon or ebay and find this tiny little screw so this screw right here is the one that holds down the m.2 drive so go ahead and do that screw it in and there you have it we just install the M.2 now once you install the M.2 drive that doesn't mean that the hard drive is ready to be used you need to initialize the disk meaning that you need to format the disk initialize it to NTFS then the computer would able to see it okay so now once you install the blank one what you want to do next is to go ahead and cover up the, uh, the side panel here okay and make sure to screw screw down the latch on the side now what you want to do is go ahead and turn on the computer i'm not going to show it to you in this video but i'll explain it to you what you need to do so turn on the computer once you log into your desktop screen you want to right click on the windows if it's windows 11 the window icon is right in the center um, if it's windows 10 your start window icon is on the bottom left so right click on that go to disk management when you're in the disk management 
you should be able to see at the second column so it's like a window here and then they have two columns being cut in half so look at the bottom column and you should see that says this one or this two that is black in color that means the hard drive is not being initialized you need to right click on that disk and initialize and format the disk you need to make sure you pick the right disk the disk that you just install not any random disk now okay because if you pick on the wrong disk you're going to erase all your information so you do not want that to happen all right so make sure you pick the right disk initialize the new disk that you just install then you should be all good to go okay hopefully this video is helpful for you uh, this is just a step by steps on how to add additional m.2 uh, SSD drive to your Dell XPX 8950. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.